never gonna sleep again. I'm never gonna sleep again. <laughs> There's no one there. Oh, shit. Boozers and welcome to the Tap House of Horror 4! <laughs> uh, I thought I wasn't going to do another one of these. Well, the spirits have said otherwise. Let's get going, shall we? So, from the looks of things, the spirits have chosen two things. One is because I'm a fan of one of the cartoon comic characters, Ghost Rider. And the other one, I don't know why. Maybe because it's from my hometown. So, let's get started with this one, shall we? So, from Phillips, we have the Black Magic Dark Ale. <laughs> Coming in at 5.3% alcohol by volume. This is an interesting, interesting label. I mean... That is something else. I do like that. There's a lot going on there. From different mystic symbols to everything else in between on there. Huh. Well, let's get this sucker open. It's from Victoria, BC. All right. It definitely is a dark ale. Nice tan head on there too. The smell. Little hoppy. Sweetness on there, sort of like a caramel chocolatey. That doesn't smell too bad. Well then, to Halloween. Cheers. Light bodied, but it's got a lot of flavor on there. Touch of caramel, touch of hops on there. Nice forefront of a good malt. That's an easy drinking beer. Hmm. That's actually pretty damn good. Really do like that. That's actually a nice, easy drinking, very well established beer. Phillips, nicely done. I can actually crush back a few of these. Very, very nice. All right. That's that's the Black Magic Dark Ale. There's definitely something magical about this. Wouldn't say it's black magic per se, but definitely magic because it's actually crisp, clean, but nice, full of flavor. Yeah, I can down that all day. Next up, I said I wasn't gonna do a pumpkin beer this year. Those evil ghosts, I guess I have to now. I can't, I can't ignore this. Cause from Fernie Brewing Company, we have the Ghost Rider Pumpkin Brown Ale. Brewed with pumpkin and spices, coming at 5% alcohol by volume. This is a flavored beer. And it's good until March 2019. Well, I'm definitely not waiting until March to drink this. Named after a local ferny legend, our classic brown ale is brewed with pumpkin spice and all things nice. Black magic, all things nice. I'm just gonna leave that there. Well, 
When I think of Ghost Rider, I think of this man right here you can't see on camera. One of my favorite comic book characters is Ghost Rider. We have another brown ale with a slightly tan head on there. Looks kind of like the other one. Pretty damn close too. Hmm. The smell. Oh. Clove, nutmeg, makings of a pumpkin pie. A little bit of a pumpkin spice in there too. Doesn't smell too bad. All right, cheers. There's a nice spice back note on there. Not getting a lot of pumpkin. And then it all disappears really quickly. It's not overpowering, which is nice. It does have that, that spiciness, but it's not offensive. It's not directly in your face. Yeah, I actually do like that a lot. This is an easy drinking pumpkin spice ale. That's actually really quite nice to drink and it's quite enjoyable. It's not over the top. There is spices in there, but it's not thick. It's not robust. It's a good medium, middle level, easy drinking pumpkin spice ale. But tell me something. Do you feel that uh, pumpkin spice beer is over the top? Should It's overdone. Personally, I don't find this too bad. I've had my pumpkin spice beer for the day for the year. Don't have to have any more. <laughs> awesome. I'm glad for that because I didn't want to drink any at all. But I've done my due diligence. Okay, folks, what do you think? Have you had these before? Do you like them? Do you not like them? Do you think they're offensive? Do you think that basically pumpkin spice is overdone? I mean, the black, the dark ale is perfect for Halloween. Pumpkin spice is actually perfect for Halloween too. They're both really really decent beers. I'm not offended by either. All right, folks, for now, happy Halloween. We will see you real soon for many, many more non-pumpkin beers. Till next time, I am PK saying cheers. Stay frosty. We'll see you real soon, as long as I'm able to sleep. Speaking of which, I think I'm gonna go play video games now and um, yeah, I'm not sleeping anytime soon. Have a good night.